Hey everyone, Chuck here with USUAV Academy. Today I want to do a short video on how we set up our dual FPV, our dual operator FPV system. Uh, basically what we have here is our S900 spreading wings platform and we have two cameras mounted to it. Obviously you can see the Panasonic GH3 Z15 gimbal, but we also have a small FPV camera mounted right up here under the center plate. Our goal was that our pilot could have their own control and screen as well as the, the observer. So here's how we set that up. Turn this around. What we did was we connected two Fat Shark 250 milliwatt FPV transmitters. And we connected to each one of those the SKU planar antennas, which are give you more of an omnidirectional uh, broadcast signal, which increases reception and distance. Um, and they, they work great. We got these to work about 200 or 2,500 feet and uh, without any signal interference. What we did ended up trying the first time, which uh, will save you some time, is we originally had this 2,200 milliwatt uh, transmitter on the 900 working, you know, solo within itself, and then we had an 800 milliwatt that we had uh, connected to a different platform. When we put the two of these together on this platform, this 2200 milliwatt completely squashed out the 800 because this is just way too powerful. So basically we stepped down from 2200 milliwatts down to 250 milliwatts and we're still getting 2500 feet of great reception onto our screens. We're powering each one of these uh, Fat Shark transmitters with a three cell LiPo. This is an 11.1 .1 volt LiPo, 800 milliamp hours, and it will work all day for you. The Fat Sharks call for, uh, I believe it's six to 17 volts. That's correct, six to 17 volts of power. So we're putting out 11.1 .1 here on the, this battery, so it's a great system. Now let me show you what that looks like on the back side. So here we have our, our pilot's transmitter and their FPV screen and if I put my hand up here we should see it in front of that FPV camera that's underneath the center plate and then we have the observers camera which you should see my hand in front of the the G3 and then the observer also has control of the camera as well so, and as well as shutter control and a mode switch for the camera to go into a follow mode or lock mode. Uh, so that's basically how we set up our S900, a dual uh, FPV, dual operator FPV camera system. Uh, feel free to email us if you have any other further questions about how we set this up or if you have questions about how you might want to set yours up. We'd love to hear the feedback. So you can email us at info at usuavacademy.com or visit our website. All right, take care.